वेलकम टू दी वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डिवाइसेस टूडेज टॉपिक इज कैलकुलेशन ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट पोटेंशियल और बिल्ट इन पोटेंशियल बैरियर लेट मी टेल यू ड्यू टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ इमोबाइल पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव आयंस ऑन अपोजिट साइड ऑफ द जंक्शन एंड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज क्रिएटेड अक्रॉस द जंक्शन एंड दिस इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड इज नोन एज बैरियर पोटेंशियल और जंक्शन पोटेंशियल और कट इन वोल्टेज let us begin as you know that barrier potential acts as a barrier or wall which does not allow the electrons and holes to cross the junction therefore if we want them to cross the junction then an external voltage of appropriate polarity has to be applied so that it can overcome the opposition of barrier potential and then only flow of electrons and holes occur across the junction here you can see a depletion layer is developed when a p type semiconductor is joined with the n type semiconductor so this is a depletion layer which consists of these positive and negative immobile ions and this is the condition of an open circuit junction means none of the potential is being applied across this this depletion layer consists of negative mobile ions which are towards the p type and positive ions which are in the n region it means now a potential difference is developed across the depletion layer which is known as contact potential this is depletion layer if this is w this width p type and n type so here for depletion reason we have for depletion reason we have if vp is the potential at left end of depletion layer potential at left end of depletion layer if this is vp let us write vn which is the potential at right end of depletion layer if this is vn and if we write vb which is equal to vn minus vp which is contact potential this is nothing but the contact potential let us draw this vb over here so you can see this is nothing but vb which is the contact potential if we say the concentration of acceptors concentration of acceptors and concentration of donors so here concentration of donors can be denoted as n d concentration of acceptors is denoted as n a let us write these two points as well n d and n a is the concentration of donor and acceptors this is small d and we know that we have already studied at equilibrium the drift and diffusion components of whole current just balance each other so we can write and 
we already derived this particular equation in the previous lecture. So, Jpx is what? This is Q mu p px into ex minus q dp which is the diffusion coefficient d of px upon dx and this is equal to 0. So, we can say from here this term mu p into px into ex this is equal to what qq will cancel out this is nothing but dp into d of px upon dx and from here we can write this mu p upon dp this is this into ex this is nothing but 1 upon px into dpx upon dx just we have manipulated the terms over here if we say this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2 so from here we have just rearranged the terms and have written into this particular form so now we have already studied einstein relation as well so, from Einstein relation, we know this term mu p upon dp. This is nothing but q upon k into t. So, this is how it can be written over here. See, let me draw a line so that you won't get it confused over here. This is q upon t and the electric field Ex can be written as what? And this electric field ex this is nothing but minus of dvx upon dx so now substituting it into the equation number 2 so from equation 2 we get see what is the now left hand term the left hand term is mu p upon dp which is being written as q upon kt and ex is written as minus d of vx upon dx this is the left hand term and what is the right hand term this is 1 upon px into d px upon dx. Let us say this is equation number 3. So, I hope till this particular point it must be clear to you how to write down the equation at equilibrium then we have used the Einstein relation. You must remember the Einstein relation and accordingly these particular terms can be modified as. Moving ahead, integrating equation 3 we get So, from here we are getting the term minus q upon kt integration vp to vn dv which is equal to integration pp to pn dp upon p let us say this is equation number 4 here this term p p and p n these are the whole concentration whole concentration and electron concentration at the edge of transition region on either side on either side of 
edge. Now we can write this term this is what minus q upon kt this is vn minus vp this is equal to what log base e pn minus log this is base e pp and from here we can write c we already know this term vn minus vp is what vb so this particular term will, can be written as minus q upon kt into vb and this term for the right hand side this would be log e numerator is pn denominator is p p and from here we can write simplify it there is a minus sign and uh, we have to calculate vb so let us replace the terms it can be written as what kt upon q let us absorb this minus sign so remaining term would be log base e and here the numerator will be pp and denominator is what pn this is how this term vb can be written as let us say this is equation number 5. Now in terms of donor and acceptor concentration also we can deduce it further. See this term PP this is equal to what? This is the whole concentration on the edge side. So it can be written as what? It can be written as NA means the acceptor concentration or you can write down the small a as you are need to write, write it down over here. So this particular equation, now this particular equation can be written as Vb is kt upon q log its base is e. Now the numerator is na and the denominator is pn. In this particular way you can write it down. According to the law of mass action, according to law of mass action, we can write n into p, this is equal to what? ni square. So from here we can write down n n into p n this is equal to n i square so now here we can substitute the value of p n which we have derived from the equation number 9 so from here what is p n now p n is nothing but n i square upon n n this is not p let me erase it this is n n and what is n n but this term is nothing but the concentration of donor atoms so from here what we can write we can write this p n as n i square upon n d. So now let us substitute this value into this particular equation. We will get what is the value of v b now and this particular equation will be k t upon q log its base is e numerator is n a and the denominator is n i square upon n d or this is k t upon q 
log its base e and now the numerator is n a into n d upon n i square. So this is the final expression which is of our interest. Here this V B is contact potential. This term V B is contact potential which is you need to derive over here. And here this particular term K T upon Q this is denoted as V T. V T is nothing but K T upon Q which is the volt equivalent of temperature. If you substitute the value of K, K is what? Boltzmann constant, Q is the value of the charge. So you know both these particular constants K and T. If you substitute, you will be getting this particular as T upon 1, 1, 6, double zero. So this is how you can also calculate if required volt equivalent of temperature. Topic for the next video lecture is VI characteristics of PN junction diode. Thank you so much for watching this video.